to the episode of Shipping Lanes here in Roblox. But today, guys, we're going to be making so much cash. Now, the last time I played this, I bought the biggest, the best, the most expensive ship in the game. The Seawise Giant, I believe. Now, today, right, I've, what I've never done before in the past is completely fill it up. Today, I want to try and fill it up to the maximum, get the most amount of oil inside of it, so we can then ship it to the most expensive port and make the most amount of money. I truly want to become the richest folio that ever lived in this game and have the most expensive shipping company the world has ever seen. Now, if you guys do enjoy this and may want to see more shipping lanes in the future, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're under red here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. Now, before we jump into it, guys, we need to check out the company. Now, it's been a while since I last viewed the company or last played this game, so it's time to see how many members we now officially have. So in this game, you can join companies and you get like bonuses and all that kind of stuff, and you get to have them in the same livery as your boy's ships. But my company right now, if I go to it, is the Fools Trading Inc. Now, if you want to join my company, go to click on Join Company and enter the company name in, and then you'll be able to join it. But we officially have right now, if I look at it, it's quick. Let me, let me switch. Let me switch sides. There we go. We have four thousand and thirty-seven members. That is a lot of members right now. If you, be, if you get it, you get to have that beautiful Seniac Grid uh, kind of design. Full trading ink on the side. So, guys, join my company right now. I'd like to know who has the most amount of members in a company. Because I want to see, like, if I'm number one or if I'm close to it. There is a leaderboard, but it's only for kind of, like, distant of people playing. So, that's kind of interesting. So, first thing we need to do, then, is go to play. Get the SS Fool, use the beautiful, the beautiful Fool's Traded Egg uh, design right there. And I'm just going to spawn at a random port because we kind of need to check the oil prices before we start shipping to the different ports. Now, we've got to find the port that has the cheapest oil. This ship is huge. Oh my goodness me. So you've got to find the port that's got the cheapest oil and then the port that has the most expensive oil and then we buy from the cheap and we sell to the expensive that kind of makes sense right um so let me just check oil prices first and oil prices here so from what we can see then currently the cheapest oil is to buy in newport at 51 dollars a barrel now it's more expensive than to go on to sell it to new haven harbor but that doesn't mean that's the kind of the way you go because you have to then kind of factor in the distance, how long it's going to take to travel there, all that kind of stuff. You know, the longer it is, the more fuel you're going to use, all that jazz. But it's looking Newport to New Haven or Newport to Norfolk Port that or, or Davenport. To them. So it's either Newport or Davenport. So if I check the map, so Newport here, Davenport here. So it's either one of these two. Then it's either going to Norfolk or New Haven. Now, the question is, is it quicker to go from Davenport all the way up to Norfolk or from Newport, probably going around to get to New Haven? Now, this one, you'll make the most money, but it's technically a little bit longer. But we could do this, guys. We could do this right now. We've got this right now. There's a little ship there trying to get past your boy's big ship right now. Damn, this, this ship is huge. So I think that's what we're going to do. Newport to New Haven. Now, I've got 81 million in the bank right now. So there's a lot of money that I can utilize to be able to fill up this ship. So what I'll do, and to make it a little bit easier for you, boy, we'll return to the menu. We'll then load this ship back up one more time, but we're going to spawn it in Newport, the port that where we buy the oil from. Fill it up, and then get all the way over to New Haven. That's, that's, the, that's the game plan, right? That's the game plan we're trying to go with right now. So where have I got to go to fill this up? Now, okay, we've got to get a little bit all the way to over there right now, which is a little bit out of the way. But it just kind of goes to show you how huge this ship is. They've put rocks and stuff there to kind of slow you down. They really have changed the map since I last played this. So we've got to try and get over there right now. Now, the fact that this ship is so huge, it does mean that it's a little bit slow. It does mean it's a little bit slow right now. Do I have fuel? I don't quite know if I've got fuel. This bar looks empty. I'm going a maximum of 6.6 .6 knots at full speed. So I'm led to believe that this ship has no fuel whatsoever. Yikes. I'm sure you can go like 16 knots a second. 
something like that. 60 knots an hour? Not, not 60 knots a second. That's way too... That's like a spaceship, boy. That's like a spaceship right there. So we might need to buy some fuel. And buying fuel is really expensive, too. So, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to take a little bit of a, some time right now to kind of get over here. But we'll get there. We'll do it. Might be slow. We finally got we'll the we'll ship do docked. Took a while, but we finally got there right now. So, first things first then, ship services. We kind of need to fill it up. So, refuel the ship for 324000 That was expensive. That was legit expensive right there. Oh, my goodness me. And then manage cargo. So, this is where we get to buy the goods. So, I can currently buy it for 50 big ones a pop. Now, buy oil, buy prices... Okay, now it's gone up. Damn. So, buy prices uh, 76.5 per barrel, apparently. Uh, enter the amount of oil you want to buy. It's got a 1 times 5 money multiplier. Why is that? Why is that? But then does it mean I get to... S oh, then I get to sell from multiplier as well. So, that kind of works out pretty, pretty good. Uh, right, so... I need to fill the ship up. I can take... Uh, 65,000 barrels, which is going to cost me 4.9 million. So I purchased that oil. Right, that should completely fill the ship up to the brim. Can't get no more in at that point. But it's going to make the ship slightly sink down because of how heavy it's going to be. It's going to make the ship super slow. A little bit more difficult to navigate, but we should be able to get over to the port fairly easy. Kind of, I'm hoping, guys. I'm kind of hoping right now. So we're nearly 80% of the way net right now to completely filling this ship up. So today, please. Today, please. <laughs> there we go. Right. So it's now fully loaded. We've now just spent gazillions and getting 65,000 barrels. Oof. We are, you can't buy fuel at this port. You cannot mix it with oil. It is what it is. We're going to undock the ship right now, which just takes a, a couple of seconds. And right, once that's done, oil prices... The, oh, do you see this ship just sink down? Holy moly, that's how you know it's super heavy right now. So oil prices, the big prices right now, New Haven Harbor. So let's plan our route then. I know from experience this ship is too big to go through this little kind of close section. So we're either going to have to go round this way and then up, or round and up. It's going to be too long to go around that way, so it's literally, I think I'm going to go straight, come down, turn, go round, and then in. That's just the easiest way for me right now to get to that point. So if I kind of like just kind of use my little jets right now to kind of scoot away from the edge of the, uh, the dock area right there. The sun is now officially about to set. I can toot your boy's horn. Yeah, boy. And then I go full beans ahead. Now, do you reckon it will use all the fuel to get over to that point? I'm not 100% sure. But it's becoming about to become very, very dark right now, guys. Very dark right now. Tooting the horn. Now, I should be able to go above six knots right now. Which I am. So we're going full steam ahead. So it's a case of just kind of slightly going around here. Out to where the moon currently is. <sighs> right, this should be easy. But the only thing going against me right now, it is kind of dark. But this is the view that I've got. This is the view that I've got. As we now sail out of here, we're now doing 18 knots. 19 knots. Oh, this goes a little bit quicker than I expected it to. 19.8. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. How do they control a ship with this is just their view? you got limited view. The ship is so huge. It's like sunken so far down. Uh, but we're going to slowly start making a turn. What's the view like here trying to make a turn? Got to be careful I don't get too close to the edge of the the, uh, the land. Or we'll bottom out and have a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage, boys. But this is my view. You see the town just in the distance right there with the lights on. Right, slowly start. Oh my goodness me, turning makes it feel like we're about to start sinking. Um... Why, is, why does it feel like we're about to start sinking on that turn? Yikes, that's terrifying when you look at it from the inside. That really is. Right, we've got a long way to go, guys. A long way to go right now. But we can do this. We can go. We can rock. We can roll. Aim up and went down. And now the sun 
is coming up and I've used a quarter of the tank. You could argue it's on the way to being a third of a tank. And this is as far as I've currently got right now. So we took off from Newport here. Sailed up and around, down, around this bend and now up to this point. We're probably around about the halfway mark, a give or take. We're now just pretty much tooting along in a straight line. But wow! I wasn't expecting it to take this long. It's a brand new day, guys. It's going to take, take multiple days to get over there. But just think of the money in return. Think of the money we're going to get back in return, boys. We're going to be so rich. Richer than my wildest dreams right now. Richer than my wildest dreams. So what we need to do then is think about shortening the distance to get over here. So I'm kind of like, you can't drop like waypoints down or anything like that. But we kind of want to slightly change the direction. Can we kind of see it in the distance? We kind of can. I feel like we're on the course we're on right now is pretty good. I've got no issues with it. But um, from this view right now, I've got the land to the left, the sea to the right. It's beautiful, guys. No smoking, please. No smoking. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a bit slow. But what did you expect? 65,000 barrels of oil currently on board. Now, New Haven Harbour right now, we kind of need to work this out. So, we're going to approach here into the mouth of the uh, the port area, which is a quite a little bit of a tight squeeze. We've got to be a little bit careful with that. It looks like there's currently two big ships in there right now that we might have to navigate unless they get in and out before I get there. Uh, so the oil section is over on this side just here. So I'm pretty much sailing in and then parking directly there, which is easy to do. Easy to do. It's just depending on what these ships are doing because if they sell over there or kind of go to there themselves. Okay, there's only one now. They might cause a little bit of a tricky situation for your boy. But we should be okay. We should be okay. So where are we in the grand scheme of things right now? There's Phillip Island right now. We've gone past the Gold Coast. We're actually pretty much tooting along pretty quick at this point. As slow as it is, it does still feel pretty quick. And now there's no ships in New Haven Harbor. Okay, there's one back right now. There's one back. So if he stays there and doesn't move, then I should be able to slip past pretty easy. Um, it all depends on what goes down. So getting to the engines point right now is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, it actually looks like a small harbor ship. and a huge boat has just spawned. So hopefully this doesn't kind of go against us right now and we're kind of able to squeeze in. I've uh, reduced the throttle down right now to completely 0% so I can just kind of, uh, you know, slightly drift over in that direction and kind of get the boat pretty much lined up as good as I can get it uh, for the entry of it right now. That looks like a, a generic kind of um, container ship. So hopefully it doesn't go to where I need to go to right now. And we're continuing the slight turns. And I think right now I can then focus on going full throttle again to get us into the entry point. Whew, it's stressful, guys, being the captain of a ship right now. It is super stressful being a captain of a ship. But we got this. We, we, we literally, we've got this right now. There's, there's nothing anybody can do right now, boys. We are killing the game. So I'm going to keep kind of um, kind of thrusted over to the right a bit so I can get more of a better angle to kind of go in with. That was my um, my issue right there. That dude, he's kind of like straight on with the, uh, the containers, which I was expecting something like that to happen. But I feel like he's slightly, yeah, he's turning right now. So we're going to be all good. Okay, so we're now, we're officially entering the mouth of the, uh, the port. Very excited. Oh, there we go. Look, that's what I thought. We're always going to get ships that do spawn in. So just got to be a little bit careful. We should be able to toot past them. We should be we should be okay. We've got the good speeds on the go. The ship is long enough that they should physically see that I'm, I'm, I'm approaching in. And they'll give me a little bit of time to pass and there shouldn't be any issues. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. We got this one. Fingers crossed. So, we got the evergreen right now. We got the CMA... CGM and I can't quite see what this one says here the green one uh, it says uh, pear ink Ooh, okay got a couple of different um, shipping companies right by us right now so we're gonna hopefully toot along to the side a bit as we approach in slowly reducing our speed down whoa that was close we could have got capsized by that dude in this huge one as well. The pair dude's got the same ship as me. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're slowly progressing over. 
And we're going to be able to dock fairly easy, I assume. Fairly easy. We're just going to take it easy, boys. Take it easy. We're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there right now. This is, this is my view. It's not a great view. It's not a great view. But this dude right now is also going to want to be able to get over to this point too. So keep pushing over. We're getting there slowly. We are getting there slowly. Coming hot and heavy right now. And we're pretty much against the edge. We're just going to bring this ship to a complete and utter standstill. So it should be fairly easy. If I reduce the, uh, the throttle right now, put it down to 0%. Are we ducking? Or well, we're not close enough yet. We might not be close enough just yet. All right, keep it moving. Keep it moving right now. Easy, boy. How much further I got to go? Is this good? Throttle down to zero? Yeah? No? All right, push back out. Little bit further, guys. A little bit further right now. Come on, your phone. This boat, come on, move. All right, there we go. We should be able to push it a bit further right now, forward. Or is that as close as we're going to get? That might be as close as we're literally going to get. But I still can't dock it. Was I meant to go into this section? Don't tell me that's the section I was meant to I go into. I wasn't in. quite at the right angle for it. But we've managed to dock the huge ship at this point. Damn. Boy, damn. So, ship services. I've used half. Well, I've actually used quite a bit of my fuel so i repair the ship i refuel it as well so it's got it but i use over half the fuel to get here managing the cargo right now it's currently 95 dollars a barrel 94 dollars a barrel 95 dollars a barrel can we go a little bit higher please guys can we go a little bit higher um but i'm gonna get 9.2 million for selling all these barrels which is actually quite a lot it really is quite a lot isn't it so, don't wait for it to get to 95 again. Because uh, at the minute right now, which is kind of annoying, that uh, uh, Norfolk Port is now the best one, when New Haven has been the best one for all this time. Weak. Absolutely weak. But I'm going to get 142 of my money multiplier anyway. So, I think what we'll do, we'll just sell it, unload all the cargo right now, and that is a solid 9 million coming into our pockets right now. That is solid cash money moolah right there. Very happy with it. Very happy with it. So we just kind of wait for it to now all unload. There's a dude chilling on the top of my ship right now. Dance me, boy. I'm making so much cash money moolah from this oil. So much cash money moolah from this oil right now. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So it's almost all done. Easy. Easy right now. And cha-ching. We should get the money very soon. So it's all been sold. Does it go into my bank account now at this point? It freaking best do, boys. It freaking best do right now. So here, you cannot sell fuel at this um, this port, but you can buy fuel. Now, the amount of fuel you want to load, default to fill to ship limit. Um, so, is it the cheapest? Okay, it's cheaper to buy in Norfolk right now, but if I bought it here for that, can I put in 65,000? 65,000 barrels. Is that the most you can put in? It's. I mean, you don't get. It's not a lot to buy it because of how cheap it currently is. But if I purchase fuel, that's now loading oil. Which. How does that work? Okay, it fills up very, very small. So there's not really that much over here right now. I can purchase some more. Can I, can I keep purchasing? Is that the limit? There's not many more stored barrels right now. Because you got to wait for other people to drop some off. But I could keep buying. I could slowly keep buying and filling this up. Because this is $30. I could go sell it at like Davenport or Newport for 100 I can make more money doing this. But obviously it's the longer way of doing it. Not producing any more fuel at this point. But I managed to get 45 point five thousand barrels on board right now all at the wholesale price of around 30 to 35 dollars depending on when you know when i purchased it now if i take all the way to davenport or newport 100 big ones we're getting back in return 
hundred big ones. So, undock this ship. We've got to try and navigate out of these waters right now, which is going to be interesting. So we'll try and turn around or get out of here. So what we'll do is I'll turn this way. Right. I actually don't know how much I spent as well because I kept buying it in stages with the fear that somebody else is going to buy it from me. But if uh, if I now just reverse out and go reverse thrusters and slowly toot my way out of here right now, we should be able to do it. So moving very slow. I'm not sure what this dude's about to do right now, but we're going to crash into him. So you might want to move out of the way, boy. You might want to move out of the way. Your boy's coming through. He's tooting along right now. Yeah, he's reversing. He's reversing. Nice, nice, nice. So, Davenport or New Haven? Davenport. No, no, Davenport. It's Davenport or Newport, right? Is that what it was? Fuel prices? Davenport or Newport? So, it's pretty much going back to the port that we came from, is what we've got to do. Which is easy enough to get done. Easy enough to get done. We know exactly where we've got to go. So, this should be an easy sale. I've just got to try and hopefully navigate out the port a, a little bit easier. It would take me longer to get out than we got in because I'm going in reverse, which is a lot slower. But I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to make off this load. It's not One, it's not a full load. I'm not too sure how much I spent on it because it was all at different prices and I bought it at different quantities. But I know I got 45,000 barrels, so best be right, worth it. Now I've got to try and approach uh, Newport right now, right? Freaking crashing and anything like this. Like, this is probably not going to go too well. I'm also probably going a little bit too quick as well. So I'm going to try and slow down this ship. Oh, I think I'm going way too quick. I think I'm going way too quick, guys. No, I think we should be okay. If I also try and kind of use my thrusters to kind of go to the left slightly, I should be able to get there. Okay, I think. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I feel like I've messed up already. This is not good. This is legit not good. Right, so. I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to try and do it here without this ship kind of being turned all the way in. I don't think this is enough. I legit don't think this is enough. So, put it down to 0% dock. No. Right, okay. We'll, we'll turn slightly. And get in this way. So this is going to be my next best option. Yikes, boys. Yikes, this is difficult right now. But we'll kind of go a little bit forward as well. So the back end doesn't hit the uh, the seabed. Or, or the shore, I should really say. So trying to turn. Trying to turn right now. But I'm hoping I'm going to get a pretty penny for this. It's kind of what I'm hoping for, guys. A pretty, pretty penny. <laughs> right, let's get down to zero. The turning is still happening right now. And we're going to get a little bit closer. A little bit closer before I can officially dock to the edge of this. Right. Easy, easy. Easy, boy. Easy right now. Right. Throttle is really high. Let me turn that throttle right down. There we go. So here then should be it. I, I shouldn't have to do anything else at this point. So it's just a case of now waiting for the boat to line up for... As to have no speed, I've done it. I've freaking done it. Holy moly, have I just freaking done it right now. So, manage cargo. Switch to fuel mode. And we're selling for 7 million. There's the thing, I don't actually know how much I bought it for. So I don't know what the conversion is. But the, but the fact that I'm getting 7 million... For not even a full load. Goes to show you that I've probably made more money with this than anywhere else. So, sell you right now for that pretty profit. Got over 90 million now in the bank, boys. Killing the game. That's all I can say. Freaking killing the game. So, well, your boy makes so much cash money, Moolah. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>